Section 2 for Subtracting Real Numbers. Here we go. We're going to subtract real numbers. What do I mean by subtract real numbers? You might be asking. We have an objective to subtract real numbers and simplify expressions involving, you guessed it, real numbers. Let's talk about the definition of subtraction. For all real numbers, A and B, the difference A minus B is defined by A minus B is the same, or is equal to, A plus the opposite of B. So to subtract B, you can simply add the opposite of B. Hmm. So instead of 5 minus 3, I could simply do, change it to, 5 and add to it the opposite of 3. Hmm. Cool. Because if I add the opposite of 3, I have 5 positives, 3 negatives. Yeah, I'll end up with 2. Positive. Nice. Ah, that makes my day. Some examples. 9 minus 12. Well, you can simply write that, change that subtraction to adding the opposite. So instead of subtracting 12, I'm going to rewrite this as 9 plus the opposite, oh, positive 12, which is negative 12, right? And we know how we can look at this. We can think of it as 9 positives, right? You know, we, a couple ways we did it. We did the, the 9 positives, and you can do the 12 negatives. Yeah, you know, these guys go in and take each other away, and we end up with whatever. Three negatives left. Um, or, you know, up and down the number line. Go 9 to the right, 12 to the left. Next, 6 minus 5. Well, we know 6 minus 5 is 1. But, we know we can also write it as this. <coughs> Excuse me. 6 plus the opposite of 5. That's the opposite of 5, negative 5. So, we can think of a number line. All right, we're at zero. Well, we're going to go positive six, six, and then down five. We end up with one. But here's where it really comes in handy. I mean, these ones you can see. You know, if you're at nine, you drop down twelve. You're at negative three. You're at six. You drop down five. You're at one. This is where it comes in really handy. Um, three minus negative five. Well, we can instead of subtracting, we can add the opposite. Yes. Yeah. So we can instead write 3 plus the opposite. We're going to add the opposite. Well, the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. 8. Bada bing, bada boom. Yo, that's ill. All right. Let's go back to P's and N's. Remember we did this thing with P's and N's, right? You could um, kind of think of it as... Uh, you know, positive and negatives is P's and N's. So if I had um, 6 minus 4, right, um, I can change that to adding, a, you know, a 6 and a negative 4. So think of it as adding 6 positives and 4 negatives, right? So think about this. Um, if I have, on, on the street right now, um, start off with 6 P's, right? And I want to get rid of those. Well, I want to get rid of 4 P's. Well, there's two ways I can do it. I can either just take away four positives, which I'm doing here. I'm subtracting. I'm taking away four positives. Or, what happens if instead of taking away four positives, which would be just taking these four away, I started out with the same six Ps, and I added to it four negatives. Let's see. Remember what happens when positive negatives meet still end up with two positives, either way. End up with two positives here and two positives here. And you can see that adding, I mean, adding a negative is the same thing as taking away a positive. I can either just walk up to these positives and say, hey, get out of here and get rid of two, four of them. Or instead of getting rid of four positives, I can add four negatives, and it will do the same thing, because those four negatives will eliminate those four positives, so it's doing the same thing. Cool! Now, over here, you can see, all right, I have um, negative 3. All right, so I have three negatives. One, two, three. Now, this is saying take away three negatives. Oh, I can just take away three negatives and end up with nothing. 
zero. Cool. Well, I could think of it another way. Let's see if the same thing happens if I start with three negatives and I add three positives. What happens when these positive and negatives meet? Wham! Still end up with zero. Nice! So remember, removing three negatives can be done by just adding three positives. Or removing four, you know, positives can be done by adding negatives. Nice, nice, nice. So, don't forget, you can think of another thing, the negative sign, right? As the opposite of. So whenever you see this minus a minus, right, you can think of the opposite of negative three. So the opposite of negative three is positive three. And the opposite of positive three is negative three. All right? So an example here. Here I want the opposite of all this stuff. Well, what's all this stuff? Let's see. Negative two and three. Oh, whoops. So I can think of a negative two plus three, oh, plus a negative, plus a negative five, let's see, negative two and three, I get one, positive, positive one and negative five, I get negative four. Inside here I have negative four. This is telling me I want the opposite of that negative four, ends up being positive four. So, just remember that you know, the main thing here that, that we want you to see um, is that when you subtract a number, it's the same thing as adding the opposite of that number, all right? That's a big deal, all right? So don't forget that. That's what's going to really help you out, right? Subtracting 12 is like adding the opposite of 12. Subtracting 5 is adding the opposite of 5. Subtracting negative 5 is adding positive 5. Same result at the end. Have a great day.